Penham and Haya, Chapter 9 on Integration, Exercise 9R, the mixed questions at the end. Number 4. Evaluate this definite integral and draw a sketch to explain your answer. Well, that's not strictly correct because the first part says evaluate this definite integral, which may or may not refer to an area in the first place. It's simply an integral which only depends on its final and its initial value, like a height. If you're at a certain height, then it doesn't matter how you travel to a new position. The difference in height is simply on where you started and where you finished. The difference between those two. That's the way an integral works. That's what the fundamental theorem of calculus states. It'll simply be the integral of that, evaluated at 5, take away, evaluated at negative 1. So what is that anyway? So I've got up to 3, divide by 3, fractions straight away. Up to 2, divide by 2, that goes linear. I mean, constant term goes back to linear, so 3x. Work it out at 5, work it out at negative 1, and the answer is the difference between those two. So I've got a third of 5 cubed minus the 5 squared minus 3 times the 5. Take away a third of, now it's the negative 1's turn cubed minus the negative 1 squared minus 3 times the negative 1. Let's start working this lot out. So that's 125 up in 3, don't like it. Minus 25, minus 15, don't mind them so much. That's still negative with the odd power, so it's minus a third, but that's positive with the even one, so it's minus one, and that's positive three. And again, rather than working at the two parts, I'm going to go my pairings of my integers and my fractions. Because what I've got here is, I've got 125 thirds plus another one makes 126 thirds, divided by three makes 42. And then the numbers, I've got a minus 40, and then I've got, here I've got a two, minus 42, so that just comes to zero. So that was the first bit. Second part, I might have to rub some bits out here. Now the second part said, what was it again? Draw a sketch to explain, well that answer requires no explanation. 42 take away 42 is zero, plain and simple. What it means is, obtain a graphical explanation of the answer zero if this is interpreted as an area. That's a different thing. So if I'm interpreting this as an area, that means I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the area under the curve. Y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Well, what does that look like? Well, it's a parabola. I know various things about it. It's the correct way round. It cuts at negative 3. Opposite signs means it's passing to the right. But I think I want to know where it cuts the x-axis specifically. So what I'll do is I'll factorise that equal to 0. So that must be this way round with a negative there and a plus there. That means it's cutting at negative 1 and it's cutting at 3. So if I was to draw a graph of this, it would look like this. It cuts at negative 1, it comes back up at 3, so it's going to come down like this. It's a wee bit squint. That's negative 1. It goes down as low as negative 3, but that doesn't really matter. And cuts at 3, and then it carries on. That would be the graph. And it says I'm evaluating this from negative 1, which is this point on the x-axis, through the 3 until I get to 5. So if I was interpreting this as an area, what's going to happen is some of it's going to cancel out because using the integral strictly it just evaluates it as it goes. Interpreted as an area it means I'm adding up all these little vertical strips and these have got negative heights so this is building up a big negative bank of numbers and then it switches at 3 and you start to get positives. Now they're going to start cancelling out some of those negative values and if it says that the final answer is zero, that's the same as saying these two areas must be the same. So that the total area just valued as an integral, as in final takeaway star, with the positives cancelling out the negatives, must be zero overall. So that in this part, my statement would be this. The areas above and below the x-axis are equal would be my interpretation of that, interpreting the integral as an area.